Oh, good. It's in the right place. Uh, brief introduction. Uh, this is a thing called Bolex, just so you know. Bolex is a brand of movie camera that recorded most of the history of the 20th century, but was also used by a lot of people to make home movies. And oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see if I can find an angle. Okay. Oh, and um, I, I think this is all okay, but if you feel a need to stick your fingers in your ears, go ahead. <laughs> Bolex. There's no sound in this black and white world, missing even the whir of the Bolex, drawing in what it sees without comment, images to flicker on future walls, projecting a past world in black and white. A boy and girl climb the wooded dirt path beside a green lake somewhere far below, followed by mother coming up behind, saying words now lost somewhere in the past and father unseen behind the Bolex. A girl runs down a road in Vietnam, screaming in silence as napalm burns her, while a newsman weeps behind his Bolex, while the world weeps at this black and white scene, knows things can no longer be black and white. The car door opens over and over, while the girl and boy follow each other out of the car, out of the car, like magic, black and white and silent, without ending, controlled by the man behind the Bolex. Over and over passenger jets crash, twin towers into reasons for new wars, while the New York artist in his loft makes moving images with an old Bolex, knowing nothing is truly black and white. The boy sails a kite silently in the sky, as he runs through the fields eternally, loops slow-mo over and over again, the man with the Bolex keeping the dark just out of reach where it can't touch this boy. Anne Frank writes her diary in an attic, knows the men in uniforms will come soon, bearing death for her and her family, writes with no Bolex to tell this story as the attic closes in on her life. A girl on the cabin's porch is reading while across the meadow deer watches. Her dad in the doorway filming this girl, her thoughts far away in a dark attic with another girl about her old age. Unfeeling uniformed men with guns watch people undress for the waiting showers, then enter a dark room they'll never leave while the gas stacks naked bodies like logs, all shot for the record with a bolex. On a sunny day somewhere in the west, a boy chases a dog through the prairie grass while the man with the Bolex follows him, pleased to catch the fire of the summer sun above this boy and dog in black and white. The eastern sun sits low in the sky where rockets explode and a city burns while across the way, festive crowds gather, cheering with joy at the fireworks in the dusk while an antique Bolex records it all. There must be birdsong in the fields and woods, yet there's no sound in these images, no color among the black and white fields where light and dark are given equal weight. The Bolex records, but never judges. Above Japan, three men wait the moment little boy falls from the bomb bay, silence all around them like death calling. Then fire takes innocence out of their world while the great artisan's Bolex captures it all. In a sunlit world without sound or color, a boy and girl seem to live forever, dream of love floating across perfect fields, but it stops to leave in a single image where a spark spreads until nothing is left. 